sharks are the most powerful predators in the ocean. But what if they could also roam on land? Enter the bull shark, a shark that bites harder, can run on land, and is overall 100 times stronger than a regular shark. And now I will be playing as the bull shark in Minecraft, gaining a ton of amazing upgrades and transforming into even bigger forms. Will I become strong enough to defeat the land kraken or will I sleep with the fishes? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned into a tropical paradise with my bull shark people. We were all swimming around in the water, enjoying the beautiful plant life around us. Suddenly, giant tentacles bursted out of the ground around us, and the land kraken emerged on the shore. I've returned, and now I'm going to banish you to the land just like your people did to me. The land kraken used his powers to dry up our ocean. The plants shriveled, and my people were set on fire. I need to find my parents. With what little breath I had left, I hopped over to where my mom and dad were, only for them to catch on fire like the rest of the bull sharks. Mom! Dad! Gonzo, take this before it's too late. My mom threw a splash potion on me, causing me to transform. I grew four legs, gained five hearts, and now had the ability to travel on land. You must follow your destiny and defeat the land kraken. We love you. I watched in horror as my parents died and some sand zombies popped out of the ground around me. In the next moment, dozens more emerged all over the bull shark island, killing members of my clan. With no other choice, I ran for my life. Man, get the bull shark. On day two, I was being chased through the desert as more sand zombies continued to pop out around me. I wasn't used to my new legs yet and accidentally stepped into a group of spider webs. Oh no, I'm stuck. This is bull shark. I struggled as the zombies caught up and began to attack me. I used my powerful bull shark jaws to try and keep them at bay, but the sand zombies were still able to knock me to low health. Finally, I escaped the webs and kept running for my life. Let him escape. Just as I thought I was in the clear, I found myself cornered at a cliff. The sand zombies closed in, but I had an idea. They went in for an attack, but I was able to dodge them and use my horns to knock the enemies off the cliff instead. You fight the bull, you get the horns. Suddenly, a tentacle came out of nowhere and swung at me. I wasn't fast enough to dodge it and ended up getting knocked off the cliff. On day three, I fell to the bottom of the cliff and landed into a river rapids that was heading straight towards a waterfall. I tried to swim against the current, but even with my bull shark swimming powers, the tide was too strong to make it to shore. Don't fail me now, fins. As I swam against the current, I spotted a cave. Before it was too late, I began to swim as fast as I could towards it. As I was about to reach cover, the sand zombies from before ambushed me. They had survived the the fall too. You are going down with us. They tried to pull me away from the cave, but I was more skilled in the water than they were. Using my bull shark teeth, I fought them off and escaped into the underwater cave. I emerged on the other side of the passage to find an ancient bull shark shrine sitting before me. Does this have something to do with my destiny? Out of instinct, I approached it, but as soon as I touched it, I was sent into a vivid flashback. I was standing in the middle of an underwater war between my bull shark people and the Kraken forces. What is this? It's like I'm in the past. I swam through the chaos and saw the Kraken fighting with one of my ancient bull shark ancestors. Surrender. You cannot defeat me. Not if I have anything to say about it. My ancestor unleashed an ultimate attack onto the enemy, causing him to transform into the land kraken. The water around him began to deal damage. You will regret this. In a hundred years, I'll be back to finish your kind once and for all. He retaliated with a massive attack on his own, causing me to wake up in the shrine. I was back to the present day, and a map was now in my inventory. The land kraken was banished by my people, and now he's back to kill us. I have to stop him. 
Just as I was about to follow my new clue, holes sprung from the roof of the cavern, releasing lava inside. I tried to escape through the watery exit, but I wasn't fast enough. Lava poured into my path, blocking the only exit with obsidian. I was trapped. On days six through seven, lava was filling the cavern, and I needed to find a way out before it was too late. Time to use my head. I readied my bull horns and rammed into the wall, causing the wall to collapse and reveal a way out. I climbed over the rubble and out of the cave. When I re-emerged on the surface, I realized that the greenery around me had died and that the river and waterfall had all turned to lava. The land kraken's power is spreading fast. I need to stop this before it's too late. I followed the map I got from the shrine and arrived at an area where the biggest tentacle I had ever seen was poking out of the ground. I've got a bad feeling about that thing. I began to walk towards the monstrous tentacle when suddenly the ground began to shake under my feet and crack open around me. Oh no, earthquake! On days eight through nine, I took cover on a large rock as the floor continued to split apart. The earthquake had finally ended, but now the entire area was filled with boiling hot lava. I've come too far to stop now. I need to get that tentacle. Using what little surfaces remained, I platformed over the lava towards the other side. I was making good progress until suddenly, creatures began to spawn from the lava. Come join the earth. I was too far in to run away now. I knocked them away with my bull horns as I kept pressing forward. Finally, I made it to the tentacle, but the lava creatures were closing in fast. Take this! I honed in all of my strength and bucked full force into the tentacle, but I wasn't strong enough to destroy it. All of the lava monsters jumped on me. I was going to die. Get off of me! I used my bull horns to knock them all back into the lava at once. I thought I had defeated them until the ground began to tremble. They re-emerged as one united giant lava monster. Join us. Without warning, the beast attacked. On days 10 to 12, I was fighting off the giant lava monster. They had these large stomps that sent me flying as he swung his giant fists, making mighty punches at me. I tried to fight back with my own powers, but with so little space for me to move, the battle was impossible to win. He was summoning his own meteors and surging them at me one after the other. I have to fight fire with fire. As the lava monster went in for another hit, I managed to jump to a different platform, causing him to collapse lied with the tentacle instead. It crumbled to pieces, and I suddenly began to transform into an even stronger shape. I stood up on two legs and gained even more strength. I now had five more hearts and learned Bull Shark Kung Fu. No! The once barren area was now filled with vibrant life. It had reverted back to its original state, refilled with water and plant life. The lava monster was taken out by the water, and I officially won the battle. Whoa, destroying the tentacles must be how I can save the world from the land kraken. Just then, I spotted smoke in the distance and immediately got a bad feeling. I decided to get closer to see what was going on. On days 13 through 15, I arrived at the source of the smoke to find that a forest was being set ablaze by a fire saber cat. Innocent creatures were running for their lives as the fire saber cat burnt their homes to a crisp. Your heads fall to the might of the land kraken. Leave them alone. I jumped into battle and unleashed my new abilities on the fire saber cat. He fought back with his burning powers, but thanks to my new form, I was tougher than before. He he charged at me and caught me off guard with a huge slam. After getting on his hind legs, he kept getting closer and swinging at me. I did a few huge stomps to push him back and the pressure became too much. It was claws versus fists, horns versus flames. I was able to take him down and stop his rampage. I hurried and tried to put out the flames, but too much damage had already been done. I couldn't put out the massive forest fire alone. Suddenly, one of the forest creatures ran up to me. You'll have to go to the jungle temple and activate our rain stone. That's the only way to put out this fire. I'm on it. I pressed on towards the temple before the flames destroyed everything. 
On days 16 to 18, I ventured through the jungle until I arrived at a large, elaborate building. This must be the temple. Time to start searching. I explored the temple and was taken away by its vast, exquisite decor. Unfortunately, while I was distracted, I mindlessly stepped on a trap. Shoot, what did I do? Walls quickly blocked the passage and the room began to fill with water. Ha, looks like they weren't prepared for a bull shark. I used my powers to breathe under the water as it filled the room and broke down the passage with my powerful horns. I continued deeper until I arrived at a room where the rainstone was waiting for me. There it is! It's finally mine! I approached the stone to activate it, but before I could, a dragon crashed down into the room! Looks like the forecast shows a chance of flames. Before I could get to the stone, the dragon touched it, making it bright red. No! What did you do? Instead of rain falling, meteors began to pour down from the sky and crashed into the temple. On days 19 to 22, the meteors were destroying the temple and limited where I was able to move. This is bad! I need to restore the rainstone! I quickly evaded the rocks and tried to approach the stone, but the dragon stopped me in my tracks. Where do you think you're going, weirdo? I'm the weirdo here. Look at yourself! What do you mean? I'm a magnificent dragon! The dragon used their powerful fire breath attack on me, dealing lots of damage! I fought back with my bull kong fu attacks, only to be almost hit with a meteor! He used his deadly fire breath on me again, causing me to be set on fire! When I regained my control, he pummeled me with his giant fire fists! I retaliated using my shark bite powers, catching him off guard! Suddenly, he started generating tornadoes and surging them towards me. The dragon sent me repelling back with a ferocious tail whip. I brought my hands up and retaliated with a giant slam. That's it, I'm taking you down. I pushed the dragon back with my horns into the path of one of the falling meteors. They got crushed and I was able to go for the rainstone. I picked it up and it returned to normal, causing rain to pour down. The fire around the temple went out and the forest was saved. I did that, all me. Just then, I spotted a map on the ground that I hadn't seen before. That dragon must have dropped it. I better follow this and see where it leads. On days 23 to 26, I arrived at the location on the map to find the next tentacle embedded inside of an insect nest. I don't like the look of that. I better destroy that thing and get out of here. I approached it, but as I got closer, I heard the sound of scuttling feet. Who's there? Show yourself! Quickly, scorpions broke out from the sand and attacked me. Kill the intruder. He's after our beloved tentacle. Intruder? Who, me? No way. I fought them off with my powers, killing them one by one. They sent out poison blasts at me, but I dodged and retaliated with my bull shark kung fu. After attempting to surround me with their stingers, I used my powerful stomp on them, sending them flying. Suddenly, one of them was able to get a good hit on me, inflicting me with poison. Get off of me! I used my powers to kill the remaining scorpions, but their venom was getting to me. This isn't good! I need to find a cure before it's too late! I hurried into the nest as the clock was ticking against me. On days 27 to 30, I arrived at the heat of the nest, where I found the tentacle, as well as the scorpion queen herself. My, my, it looks like my subjects already did a number to you. I can't wait to feast on you. Feast on me? You couldn't even maintain your own army. <laughs> You're going to be so tasty when I'm done with you. Ha! Ah, I'd like to see you try. She attacked me, and I braced myself for impact. She used her pincer attacks on me, dealing a powerful blow. I rammed into her, hoping to do something, but she used her pincers and crushed me between them, 
causing immense damage. I used my bite attack, but I couldn't pierce her tough skin, and she threw me back with her pincers. I ran towards her and stomped her pincers. She retaliated by making roots come out of the ground, trapping me in them. I tried my best to entangle myself, but then I used my kung fu powers and smashed my way out of the grasp of her roots. I was ready to attack her, but then I saw her turn around and she swung her tail, sweeping me off my feet. I bit a softer part of her arm and she backed away in pain, but then sprayed me with her poison. Taste my venom! She stung me, causing more of my health to drop. I was almost defeated. I have to destroy the tentacle. I used the last of my strength to charge past the queen, and I managed to hit it. The tentacle was destroyed, and I gained five hearts, and my poison was cured. As it crumbled, the rainstone in my inventory reacted, granting me powers to control water and ice. The area was filled with greenery, causing the queen to get stuck in a sweet berry bush patch. No! This can't be! While she was stuck, I launched a powerful water beam at her and defeated her. Two tentacles down, time to get the others. I exited the colony, when suddenly, I spotted a beam of light in the distance, so I followed it. On days 31 to 34, I arrived at the Beam of Light to find a map sitting on another ancient bull shark shrine. This could be the clue I need to find the next tentacle. Just then, a little bandit jumped out and snagged the map first. See ya, sucker. Hey, get back here. I chased after the little bandit at full speed. Since I was a bull shark, I had the speed and ferocity of a bull on land. The little bandit tried to lose me between trees, but I was able to charge through them full speed. I finally cornered them. Nowhere to run. Hand over the map. I think the tables have turned, mate. Suddenly, I was ambushed by a bunch of the little bandit's lackeys. Uh-oh. On days 35 to 38, the lackeys took me to a coliseum where many spectators were watching me in the stands. In front of me stood a pedestal, high up. I tried to make sense of what was on it, only for it to be the map that was taken from me. Of course, it's the map. I need to get that somehow. I looked around for any way to retrieve the map, but then suddenly, a mighty warrior was released into the arena opposite of me. Today, our champion will be taking on the legendary Bull Shark. Will he be able to defeat this menace of land and sea? The champion charged directly at me, and I braced myself for the incoming attack. It was a battle of skilled warriors. He slashed wildly with his sword, trying to get an edge over me right off the bat. I tanked through it, thanks to my bull shark strength, and went on the offensive. With my water powers, I blasted him with beams of immense force. In a fury, he summoned swords to rain down from the sky. Little did he know, with one action, I called on ice to barrel down onto him. His mastery over the blade was so honed. His slashes left insane trails of pure darkness in their wake. Then he thrusted his sword into the earth and ripped upward, sending a line of jagged rocks sparing upward from the ground. I charged forward with my horns, hoping to knock him over with brute strength. Unfortunately, his tough armor protected him from most of the damage. At this rate, I'm going to lose! I looked around and spotted other captured creatures in the Colosseum behind gates. If I can't win with my powers, maybe I can win this way. I freed all of the monsters from their cages, causing them to storm onto the warrior, flooding him in numbers. Not so strong now, huh? With one final howl, the champion died. Oh no, this is not what we planned. Run! Everyone inside of the Colosseum panicked after the accidental display of the defeat of their grand warrior. During the chaos, I ran towards the map. On days 39 to 42, I knew it was now or never to get the map. I gathered all my strength and leapt high into the air and grabbed a hold of the map. Got it! Before I was able to leave, the lackeys from before stopped me. Where do you think you're going? You'll pay for this, punk. We'll see about that. The lackeys attacked me and I prepped for battle. The majority of them came in with wind attacks, slamming and punching every part of me they could reach. Thankfully, they weren't very tough. It was their leader that was the problem. He seemed to have some sort of ability that let him slash at me with blue arcane force. I tried to pummel him with my bull shark martial arts, but thanks to his small size, he was able to evade some of the attacks. Despite that, now that he hadn't snuck up on me, I knew we were
were evenly matched. I saw an opening and blasted him with my cold powers and continued to push forward and gain ground. I managed to trip them up on one of the loose animals and I landed the finishing blow defeating them where they stood. Take that! You can't cage this bull shark down. I managed to make it through the chaos and headed to the next location on the map. On days 43 to 46, I arrived at a volcano where the third tentacle was sticking out of the top of the massive mountain. Looks like I have some climbing to do. At least I could get my steps in. I began to scale up the side of the volcano, but then an earth golem emerged from the peak of it. You're not reaching the land kraken's tentacle. Very the wrath of nature. He unleashed a mighty shockwave, causing the volcano to erupt from under him. I evaded the incoming scorching lava, as well as the flaming rocks that flew from overhead. I kept looking around me and saw a rock heading towards me, and I dodged it. Woo! That was a close one. After a few close calls, I finally made it to the top of the volcano. Time to cool things off. I mustered up my strength and destroyed the tentacle, causing it to crumble to pieces. I gained five hearts and absorbed the powers of nature from the golem. I was now able to summon shaman laser attacks as the area was restored back to normal. Oh, my volcano. What did you do? You don't have your volcano to save you anymore. Try to beat me now. I duked it out with the earth golem. I used my new powers and landed heavy hits on him, but he still stood strong. He swung his boulder fists, hitting me across the top of the volcano, almost knocking me off. I rammed my head into him, but he didn't punch. After a while of fighting, he used his smash attack to weaken the ground around me, but I finally defeated him. See you on the other side. <laughs> Huh? The earth golem perished from his injuries, but the ground gave in under me, causing me to fall into the darkness below. On days 47 to 50, I landed inside of an underground chamber. Suddenly, the land kraken emerged from the ground in front of me. Looks like my minion was able to bring you to me and sacrifice himself while doing so. You! You'll pay for what you did to my people, for what you did to my parents. I'm simply getting revenge for this dreaded form they trap me in. Once I kill you, all the bull sharks will no longer exist. With no warning, he attacked me. He used his eye beam attack on me. He was unlike anyone I have faced before. Everywhere he looked, the beam would only cause chaos and pain for those who stood in his range. He crawled menacingly towards me, swinging his tentacles, trying to whip me from the ground. I tried to fight back, but even with my new powers, I stood no chance against him. You've gone stronger, I'll give you that, but not strong enough. He unleashed his ultimate attack, leaving me with low health. Just as I was about to accept defeat, a thornshell crab tumbled in, along with a roaring waterfall from the ceiling. It cut between me and the land kraken, separating us. Ah, water! Come with me if you want to live. I followed the thornshell crab while the kraken recoiled in pain behind me. I'll get you next time. Just you wait. On days 51 to 54, I followed the thornshell crab to their home, where most of the place was dried up, lacking any sort of life other than the crab. What happened here? Something tells me this has to do with the land kraken. That's right. One of his tentacles is drying up our home, but they built a fortress around it. We're not strong enough to get in. Well, I do owe you for saving me back there. I'll destroy that tentacle. Don't you worry. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to save you before anything bad happened. My name's Crabber, by the way. You can call me Bronzo. Here, take this, and good luck. The crab threw me some fish before pointing me in the direction of the fortress that guarded the tentacle. After eating a snack, I set out. I arrived at the fortress and found the tentacle that was drying up their home, but it was surrounded by walls and guards were on duty. I'm strong, but not that strong. I think it's best if I lay low. The only way I could get into the fortress is if I tried to sneak in, but everywhere I looked, there were guards lurking at every corner. I have to be careful. I can't get caught. I made it to higher ground so I could find any openings there may be, but the walls of the fortress were far too tall to get any good glimpses. I surveyed the surrounding area of the fortress, but then suddenly I made eye contact with one of the guards and he ran to get help. 
Oh, no, you don't. On days 55 to 58, I leapt into the air and made a bull rush for the guard. I slammed into the fortress, causing the guard to fall off the side of it before he could call for help. He fell to his death, and I was able to keep moving without being detected by the rest of the guards. That was close. I need to be careful next time. I finally made it to the entrance to where the tentacle was enclosed, but there was a guard protecting it. I have to get them out of here, but how do I even do that? I spotted a glass bottle and shot a water beam at it. It shattered, drawing the guard's attention. Who goes there? The guard walked towards the sound, leaving the door unattended. I bolted towards the door, making it inside of the tentacle's room. I made it. Time to destroy that tentacle and save Crabbert's home. Not if I have anything to say about it. Out of nowhere, dozens of guards ran into the room, surrounding me. I tried to fight them off, but there were too many of them. It was no use. I was captured. Captured. Throw him in the dungeon. On days 59 to 62, I was inside of a prison cell, waiting for my inevitable demise. I have to get out of here. I tried to punch, bite, and ram down the bars, but it was no use. After trying everything, the bars remained closed, and I was still stuck. I couldn't break free. The entrance is no way to get out of here. I've tried. I turned around and saw a mutant skeleton standing against the wall in the dark corner of the jail cell. I raised my guard up and backed into the the wall, the farthest I could get from my cellmate. Who are you? I'm Cliff, and I might have a way we can get out of here. If you'd like to get out, of course. You just watched me try to leave with no success. Of course I want to get out. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I just told you now, and it was entertaining to watch you fail. He walked towards a bookshelf and broke it down. I walked towards him, where a weakened spot in the stone wall was revealed. I've been chipping away at this wall for years, but I need someone real strong to break through it. Just so happens that I think you're the guy for it. How many years exactly? Eh, never mind. Stand back. I rammed full speed into the weak spot, causing the wall to crumble. We both escaped out of the jail cell, but the guards rushed over to stop us from escaping. Where do you guys think you're going? You go ahead. I've got these jumps. Thanks, Cliff. I've been waiting years for this. Take a piece of this. Cliff fought the guards off, allowing me to run into the facility with no issues. On days 63 to 66, I arrived back at the chamber of the fourth tentacle. The guards were nowhere to be seen. They must have all been dealing with Cliff. Now's my chance to take this thing down. I tried to go for the tentacle, but a shadow viper came in to stop me. You are not touching that tentacle. Not without going through me first. I charged at him with bull horns, and it dashed at me, pointed fangs at the ready. I narrowly managed to dodge out of the way of its maw, and then jumped right back at it to pummel him with some bull shark martial arts. It whipped its tail around and launched spears of darkness in my direction, dealing massive damage. I put some distance between us so I could use my ice and water powers, freezing portions of the battlefield as I did so. It lunged and blasted at me with acidic sprays, intent on poisoning me. I fought back with my powers, but we were evenly matched. I need to get an edge. I used my bull shark speed to charge through the shadow viper and made it to the tentacle by force. I destroyed it, causing me to get more hearts and unlock my ancestor's ultimate attack. With the tentacle destroyed, the dry landscape was restored to its original beauty. No, you'll pay for that. He attacked me again, but I fought back with my new abilities, defeating him quickly. I left the fortress, and the thornshell crab from before came to me. You saved our home. Thank you. Please take this as a token of our appreciation. I got a potion of regeneration and continued to search for the remaining tentacles. On days 67 to 70, I traveled through the overworld until I found a red flag flying in the distance. <sighs> Something about that flag is annoying me. My inner bull took over and I charged full speed at it. The closer I got, the more I was ready to break it down. Suddenly, I fell into a trap, causing everything to go dark. I woke up on an icy racetrack with a bunch of ghouls surrounding me. Look what we have here, a bull shark. What the? Where have you taken me? Let me go! I tried to attack them, but they avoided my every move as I slipped around the ice. <laughs> slow poke! Oh, we will see who is the slow poke when I hit you with a bull charge! Think you're fast, huh? How about this? We'll only let you go if you beat us in a race. If you lose, you'll be stuck here forever. 
fine. Bring it on. On days 71 to 74, the ghouls and I lined up at the starting line and the race began. They were fast and were obviously used to the ice. But thanks to my bull powers, I was gaining ground quickly too as I stampeded along. The track had all sorts of tracks and mechanisms to throw me off. My opponents avoided them with ease. I just plowed through them. We were both neck and neck, but the ghouls still had a lead on me. You're gonna have to do better than that to win. Suddenly, I spotted an alternate path with water, and I got an idea. If I can't outrun you, then I'll outswim you. I dove into the shortcut and used my shark powers to swim through the water quickly. I ended up pulling ahead and winning the race. Ha <laughs> ha! Nobody's faster on land or sea than a bull shark. Oh man, well, I guess a deal's a deal. Suddenly, the ghoul's leader arrived. You were just gonna let him go? That shark has a bounty on his head, get him. On days 75 to 78, I was fighting against the ghouls and their leader. I was greatly outnumbered and needed to do something about the smaller guys first. I summoned my ice rain powers and and wiped them all out at once until only the boss remained. You may have defeated my men, but I'm no pushover. I waited for the right time and charged at the Minotaur with everything I had. He swung his heavy axe, dragging it across the ice, creating shockwaves around him, landing a hit on me. I used my powerful bite against him, piercing his tough skin with my sharp teeth. I pushed him against the wall before he ended up swinging his axe and smashing it on the ground in front of me, making me lose my balance. You may be part bull, but there isn't any bull stronger than a bull shark. I blasted him with my ultimate bull shark roar, severely hurting him. He seemed to be filled with rage after he wasn't able to land a hit, so he began charging straight at me. I summoned my icy rain, stopping his charge by trapping him in an icy prison. Right when I thought I had him, he broke out of my icy grasp with his axe. I mustered up all the energy I had left in me and put it into my final roar. I managed to take him down, leaving nothing but a map in his place. This must lead to the next tentacle. I better hurry. I set off to the next location. On days 79 to 82, I arrived at the location of the fifth tentacle to find myself in an open desert. That's weird. Nobody seems to be around. I approached the tentacle, but once I got close, I was teleported away. What the? I tried again, running full speed this time, but it happened once more. Someone is messing with me. Where are you? Suddenly, I spotted something scurry by, and I chased after it. Just as I was about to get to it, they teleported behind me. You're not getting to that tentacle. Not as long as I'm here. What the heck are you? Some kind of freak? Call me what you want, but you're the odd one out. A bull shark on land? Pathetic. I'm gonna get you one way or another. We'll see about that. I charged them again with full force. On days 83 to 86, I chased the teleporter through the desert, but each time I almost caught it, it teleported out of my grasp. I'm going to have to trick them. I chased them into an area full of cacti and ran full speed at them again. They teleported, but accidentally landed onto a cactus. Ow! Gotcha! I took a chance to land an attack, Ow. killing them in a single blow. With them finally out of the way, I returned to the tentacle and destroyed it, allowing me to gain five hearts and upgrading my slam attack with a deadly shockwave. With the tentacle gone, the nearby forest reclaimed the desert Desert, making the land lush once more. That's five tentacles down, one more, and I'll be strong enough to defeat the land kraken. Suddenly, I heard screaming in the distance. Help! Help! Something isn't right. I followed the yelling to investigate. On days 87 to 90, I found the source of the screaming, only to see multiple creatures stranded in a lava pool. Please help! Don't worry, I'm coming! I jumped from platform to platform, guiding each creature to safety, away from the scolding lava. Thank you, mister, for saving us. But there's still one creature that's left. Show me to them. The lion took me to another part of the lava pool, where I saw one creature remaining. However, something was different about them. I took a closer look, only to realize they were a bull shark. I thought I was the only one left. Suddenly, the ground shook and the platforms, one by one, began to fracture and crumble into lava. 
Hurry! He's going to burn! Not on my watch! Hang in there! I'm coming to save you! I jumped towards the bull shark, despite having time against me. On days 91 to 93, I jumped on the platforms, trying to get closer to the bull shark. More and more platforms continued to fall, making it difficult to make my way to the bull shark. But I was determined to save what was left of my kind. Finally, I arrived at the platform nearest to the bull shark and built a bridge connecting us together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The bull shark hopped on my back, allowing the two of us to escape before everything was consumed in lava. You're a bull shark, just like me. We need to work together to defeat the land kraken. I agree. I would be more than happy to help if it means avenging our kind. I need to find the last tentacle. Do you know where it is? Your parents are the only ones who knew where to find it. But I think I know how you can speak to them in the afterlife. You knew my parents? Knew? I looked up to them. Everyone did. But enough of that. He handed me a map to a land kraken base. Here you will find the elixir of dreams. Get past the guards and use the elixir. Then you will be able to speak to your parents again and ask them where to find the last tentacle. Thank you for everything. I won't let our people down. On days 94 to 96, I arrived at a land kraken outpost where the elixir of dreams was sitting on a pedestal. I got to get to it without being spotted by the guards. I tried to stealthily enter the base, but with my massive size, it was too hard to find a way in without getting spotted. Intruder, get up. The guards ran towards me with full force, landing an attack on me before I could do anything. So much for trying to be stealthy. I fought back with my powers, but there were too many. Suddenly, I saw a chest labeled experimental sleeping potion and got an idea. Have a taste of your own medicine. I smashed open the chest and the liquid poured onto the guards, putting them to sleep. I snagged the elixir and made a run for it. I escaped to a safe place, leaving the guards on the floor sound asleep. Well, here goes nothing. I drank the potion and began drifting off into my own mind. On days 97 to 98, I found myself in a dream realm where both my parents emerged right before my eyes. Mom, Dad, is that really you? Yes, it is, son. In the dream world, we can finally see each other again like old times. I've missed you both so much. I have so much to tell you guys about what has happened since you guys left. We've missed you too. We have both seen what you've been doing for our people. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I was too weak. Please don't say that. You were just a kid. We didn't expect you to save us, but we were able to save you, and that's the only thing we wanted, for you to be safe. You've done so much to make our people proud. We are so proud of you. I appreciate it, but I have yet to defeat the Land Kraken. We know, but we also know that you will be able to defeat him. You're the only one who can. But my journey isn't over yet, not until the Land Kraken is defeated. Where can I find the final tentacle? The Land Kraken keeps it well protected in his fortress to the east. It's incredibly dangerous. No creature has ever been able to get inside of it. Your mother is right. Are you sure you want to do this? We don't want anything bad happening to you. Absolutely. I'm going to face this until the end and win for you guys. I've been training for this moment ever since I began my journey. If you say so, son, I'm glad to see how motivated you are to do this. Good luck. We love you. Make us proud, son. I love you guys too. I hope to see you again. Know that everything I am doing is for both of you. I woke up from the dream, feeling rejuvenated from my encounter with my parents. Time to infiltrate that fortress. On day 99, I arrived at the Land Kraken Fortress and found the final tentacle poking out from behind its walls. You're going down, if it's the last thing I do. I stormed into the fortress and loads of guards ran towards me, trying to stop me from getting to the tentacle. They surrounded me, but they had nothing on my size and powers. I fought them off, thanks to all of the training I've had through my journey. The guards dropped like flies, one after another. This is what true power feels like. If feels nice. After defeating all the guards, I made my way to the tentacle where the final guard was waiting for me. Turn back now. 
not until the Land Kraken's evil ends. I'm going to make you regret not turning back. We'll see about that. The two of us charged at each other with full force and collided. The final guard summoned lightning from the sky, striking down everywhere around me. I dodged the electrifying hits and used all the powers I had disposed to me. I slammed my fists into the ground, making the guard fly into the air, backing him away from me. Lightning seemed to appear to come out of his own body, pushing me away, creating distance between us. I charged towards the guard. He was able to gain his balance after my heavy hit and summoned a big storm of lightning, encapsulating me. I was able to escape the electrifying grasp I was in and roared straight at him, pushing him away from me. More lightning struck down on the floor around, but I was able to dodge each one with ease. I thought I was free from his reach, but then he extended his neck, biting me. I retaliated by summoning ice from the sky. The final guard dropped to the ground after I landed my final blow on him. I ran to where the tentacle resided and struck down the tentacle with all the power I had left in me. I gained five hearts, and my bull shark's ultimate roar became a deadly beam. I looked around to find any sort of new life around me. However, the landscape remained the same. Come and face me, Land Kraken. Your last tentacle no longer lives. What else do you want from me? Suddenly, the ground began to shake, and he emerged from the ground before me. On day 100, I was face to face with my arch enemy. You've caused quite a ruckus, haven't you? You. That's right. You've hurt my kind long enough, and now you will pay for your actions. You bull sharks are so loud. Finally, I'm going to do what I should have from the start and get my revenge. Tentacles popped out of the ground, and he began attacking me for what I hoped to be the final time. Before the land kraken could strike me, his tentacles got a hold of my body. I was being held captive in the sky, being swung in every way possible. As quick as I could, I punched my way out of the tentacle's grasp. Thankfully, I landed safely on the ground, but I'd come to a realization. I have to take care of the tentacles first if I want to survive. I ran into the tentacles around me, one by one, hitting them down, but not before the Kraken used his laser, trying to stop me from defeating his tentacles. I dodged them to the best of my ability, and soon enough, I'd taken care of the majority of the tentacles around me. The Kraken took the opportunity to explode areas of the battlefield, shrouding much of it in flames. I charged, finally getting close enough to land a good hit with my ultimate beam, but he was able to withstand it. He used his ultimate whirlwind attack to try and knock me back, but just like him, I endured it with the help of my potion of regeneration. Looks like we're evenly matched. Really? I wouldn't say we're even close. I unleashed everything I had until he started to give in. No! This is impossible! For my family! I defeated him, and the land was free from his reign! Yes, Bronzo! <laughs>